Well, good morning. Morning for me. We're finally going to get that uh, combustion rate uh, or uh, consumption rate of the burner today. I'm going to be doing a test. Uh, I drained out the. Uh, I've drained out the. Uh, I let it run right out of uh, fluid. The tank is completely empty, so it ran till it could run no more. I'm going to be putting half a liter. Why half a liter? That tank is five liter tank. It's exactly a five liter tank in there, but five liters is, would be full to the brim, like literally full to the, right up to the brim. That's my five liter tank. And I've had a hard time dumping my five liters. Uh, it has to be completely empty for me to put five liters in there. So that's about one tenth. So point five, so 500 milliliters, which is 0.5 of one liter is one tenth the quantity of that. So therefore, whatever time it takes to burn, I, I'm doing the first test at full, like level six, which is the max it can burn. And we'll see what it comes back at. But you, we would take that in time number, multiply it by 10, would basically give us the full consumption of a full tank. It'll also give us an idea of how much half a liter, if you wanna know what a liter per uh, is gonna burn, well, you just multiply this by two, and that's the one liter or thousand milliliter rate. Um, so five liters for you American friends is 1.32 US gallons. Um, so I could, I'll do a conversion at the end to give you an idea how much like per whatever per fluid ounce might be the best for because it, it'll chop the gallon down in the half or one tenth or whatever I'm sure you understand uh the imperial uh for our imperial friends it's one basically 1.099 so 1.1 gallon uh, and of course metric seems to be the new uh it's becoming the new accepted uh um, volume measurement which is pretty it's in my opinion easier so we're looking to get 0.5 of a liter we'll burn at a high rate and then we'll burn one at low rate love these diapers let's see uh, we're shy More actually, I thought I was very on the money. That is perfect. And you can see inside the tank now, it is bone dry. Well, it's not bone dry, it's just down to hang on. I will help you guys see the bottom of that tank. But there you go. So if you can see, oh, sorry about that. You can see that's the bong that goes into the tank. Uh, as you can see the hole there, that's where it sucks its fluid. So that's where it sucks its fluid. It's, there's nothing left in it. So let's get this in here. There's half a liter. Just for the sake of time, I went to half a liter. It's also an equal, it's one-tenth. It's just easier for everybody, I think, one-tenth and going one, um, yeah, one-fifth. You know, it's easier on the math. If you guys have a 10-liter tank, then it's easy for you. You would just go times 20. They would give you your burn quantity. Now, th this is the claim. This is an 8-kilowatt uh, heater. That is the biggest BS. Don't buy the eight kilowatt heaters. That's BS. These are all five kilowatt heaters, basically. There's n not enough different. That thing there cannot pump out 
five more than five kilowatts of heat. It's been tested. You can go see John McKay 47 site. He's tested it. He's done multiple tests. He, I trust that guy. So here we go. We're going to go. I got to put a timer on. Hang on. Let me, let me hit my timer. Right here. So here we go. Oh, let's continue. Okay. So I'm going to press it. Hold. Thumbs up. I'm going to H6. H6 is absolutely the highest. As you can see by the red little arrows, it's, you cannot go any higher. And we've started the timer. I will uh, leave the timer on and bring you back uh, when that flames out. So I'm sitting here watching it. It's been approximately five minutes, burning a full rip, putting up full temperature. It's at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. 275 Fahrenheit on the exhaust. 275 on the exhaust. Okay. Uh, putting up good heat. I reset, it took, I forgot to um, prime my pump. So I had to prime the pump. I, I, actually, it fired up, but it took almost two minutes. So I reset it when it fired up. So I'll do the very same for the, uh, the other test. We're over half an hour and still, just watching and just seeing the top of the the, the the bong or the stem just it just coming out so I'm expecting it very soon we're over 33 minutes and I'm watching the temperature because as soon as that temperature starts to come down there'll be a miss in the fire because it'll be I think it'll stagger at the end right so just keep bring you back when we're done Yep. Yep. That's no joke. Almost. We're close. Uh, I'm expecting within the next 10 minutes. So I don't know if you could see that, but I'm just hitting the top of the hole in the spout. Yeah, I'm not even making that up. That's craziness. That's absolutely craziness. That that means that's five liters is ten burn, ten hours of burn. Wow, on high. I'm, I'm floored. Somebody, you know, I did see a number at one time. Actually, I think it was the, the on the ad, 10 to 11 hours of burn time. So, somebody's got, or, or maybe that's John that did, did that. I watched that. I seen that somewhere. But I seen it published, like, in writing. But it, it's crazy. I'll bring you back. I'll let it go all the way. It's, I'm guessing, <laughs> I don't know what your guess is, but I'm guessing within 10 minutes is my best guess. Let's see. At this point, I'm beyond Florida. I even pre-mix. I'm ready for the next test. 
I've been wanting to go. I would have had time to go snow blow my yard. Yeah, we got snow here. Yeah, plenty of snow. So, anyway, bring you right back as soon as it's done. We're getting close. We, there can see no suction happening inside the, the, the tube hole. So we're getting really close. I see a drop in temperature. I see a drop in temperature. So we, for sure, yeah, we're dropping fairly quickly now. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna have an air cold very shortly here. We're gonna flame out. Because I no longer see, as you've seen in the video just before. Just, yeah, I don't even see the little suction happening. I can hear the pump pumping. I can hear the pump pumping, but nothing is happening inside the tank. Yeah, we're below the hole. So we're below the hole. I'm not going to show you the time because I think you'll be completely amazed. Uh, I'll bring you back. Save time, I'll bring you back. Well, I'm going to call it because I have no air. Oh, yeah. You wow. see it. You guys have seen it go right in front of my face. So there we go. She's flamed out. And it flamed out about 25, 30 seconds ago. That's why the temperature's down to 100 degrees Fahrenheit at the pipe. So, and you can see the error on the screen. E8 needs no fuel. And the glow plug is trying to go on. I'm going to disconnect it just because I don't want it to uh, give us an issue here. Are you ready? I did stop the time when it flamed out. So, are you ready for this? Yep. That's right. One hour, 26 minutes. So we're going to put that one hour, oops, sorry, 26 minutes, which is basically 86 minutes, right? I'll explain why I'm doing that. So 86 minutes times 10, of course, is going to be 860 minutes. Divided by 60 will give us, um, hang on, I don't think the tablets have, I'll be right back, tablets don't have calculators, which is weird. Well, isn't that pretty amazing? Um, 14 hours and 20 minutes on a 5 liter tank. So if you get the t version with 10 liters, imagine that's 28 hours of run. I mean, it's insane. Extremely happy with that. Again, for my uses, that's for my camper. It's a utility trailer slash camper. I've converted it. Uh, I take it out, go camping. I sleep in a hammock inside there. Um, I'll show you that when I do go out. Uh, it'll be after winter, of course, in the spring, but I run, I would run this maybe three to four hours a day. I could bring five liters of fuel and probably run the entire weekend. Two to three nights, easy. Which is wonderful. You're talking $10 worth of fuel. So, uh, at my car, that's at the fuel pump. You know, if I burn the, uh, the furnace oil, it's even cheaper. So, I don't know. I, I'm really floored. It's really good. I'm going to run it on, that's on high, full blast. So, here comes the low test. I won't do all these uh, in interjections of uh, for the video to, for the sake of the video, but I am going to pour it in right away. That's the half liter again. I'm going to prime it this time and get it started. Just going to show you that. Every drop 
counts, man. Seems to, anyway. This thing. I'm gonna prime it for you, live. Let me know what you guys think about 14 hours. Let me know what you think. I put the half liter in there. I'm gonna prime it. This time I'm gonna prime it. I'm gonna let it fire up, start the timer. As soon as it fires up, I will bring you back. This will be probably hours. As soon as it flames up, I'm gonna put it to H1, which is low. And let it go till it burns out. That's the only time I'll bring you back and show you the time on the lowest setting on half a liter. With the pump fire. You'll, you can hear it. Here, bring it closer. It's coming. We're close. She's uh, starting to lose her heat. Oh yeah. We're almost there. We're losing heat. I have a feeling it's gonna happen in the next uh, minute or two. So I may potentially just time lapse here. So I'm gonna leave it here so we can see the time when this hits E8 or flames out. Uh, you'll see it flame out and then you'll have an E8 error, error eight. Oh, and there we go, as I'm saying it. So it was a 2.51, two hours, 51 minutes. Wow. So there we go. Let me bring you back. Let me wrap that up and give you the calculations real quick. Which goes guys up right here. More of an EV and, uh, we'll do that. All right, here we go. Quick math. So, two hours, 51 minutes equals 171 minutes times 10. So, 500 uh, milliliters. There's 5,000 milliliters. So, it's 10 times, right? Is 1,710 minutes per tank which divided by 60 equals 28.5 hours per tank. So there you have it, folks. That's how much time you can get out of a full tank at low burn. So full burn, 14 hours at low burn, uh, 28. So that's double, right? Yeah, it's double. It's pretty much double. So H3, I'm going to guess, is somewhere down the middle, right? Uh, so about probably 7 hours, 20, 21 hours long for uh, an H3 mode. There you have it. Uh, coming up next on the next video, uh, first of all, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe if you want to continue seeing some of this kind of content. Uh, hit the comments, let me know what you guys thought. Um, I now got the 70% diesel, 10% petrol, and 20% waste oil mixture done. That's what I'm going to start burning next, and I'll give you my results. Thanks for now. See you soon.